and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be doing our dining room makeover tour. If you are new to my channel my name is Katie and I post videos three times a week on a Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday and I would really really love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. But if you are new here then about eight or nine months ago we moved in to our new family home and it's a home that we are going to be renovating from top to bottom. We've pretty much done quite a lot of the house but now we've just got big big projects to do like the kitchens and the bathrooms and the garden and hopefully in the future garage conversions and all sorts of different things. But one big project that we have done first of all was to put a new conservatory extension on the side of the house. So the old conservatory was quite old fashioned and we've completely replaced it and at the same time we have made over our living room and dining room because all three rooms flow into each other and I will leave links in the description box if you haven't watched my living room or conservatory videos and you would like to go and watch them but the dining room is kind of I think for some weird reason it's one of the favourite rooms in our house. I think at the moment because our kitchen is in dire need of renovation and isn't our style at all, the dining room kind of feels like the heart of our home. It's kind of right in the middle of the house. You have to get to it to get to any of the rooms and I just really like it. I really like what we've done with it. I spend a lot of time in here doing my work and also it sounds really cheesy but when I was young I had visions of having a big family table for all my kids to sit around. So I do really feel like this is the heart of our home and I really do love it. So I am just going to show you around. In my last couple of videos I kind of did them more artistically and did a voiceover but I decided for this one it would probably just be easier to just walk around with the camera and show you like that because sometimes I think you can get a better feel for what the room looks like and feels like. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and here is our dining room tour. So this is our dining room as you are standing on the edge of the kitchen and I thought I would show you from this angle to start with. So if you've seen our conservatory or our living room tour video you will know that the three of these rooms flow together really nicely. I will link to those videos below if you haven't watched them. But on the left hand side we have got our living room. We normally keep these big doors open during the day and then we tend to shut them at night time just to make it a little bit cosier but I thought I would shut them just so you can get an idea of what they look like when they are shut. And then on this side you have got our new conservatory extension. It used to have kind of old fashioned internal doors here and the gap was a lot smaller but we've broken through, made it all open plan and made the gap wider and we're really pleased with how kind of bright and airy it has made these rooms. So if I go in and I start on this side first of all, let me just pull this door to. I've mentioned these doors a couple of times before in our other videos. Eventually we want to replace all the doors in the house with ones like these but by the time you've got the hinges and the handles and then you've oiled the doors, they can work out quite expensive. So we're having to do it slowly. I think we've got three or four so far and then we've got the whole rest of the house to do. So it's going to be a long term project replacing those. And then this corner of the room, I really wanted everything really painted bright white, which probably isn't very practical with kids, but I just really like the effect that white paint gives. And then if we go over here, this print is from Print Club London. They do sort of more kind of limited edition, more unique prints rather than like bulk ordering prints and I really like it. It's probably a tiny bit more than I would normally spend on a print but I was struggling to find something to go in this space and I just really like the way it looks here. It's not picking it up on camera but it's actually navy blue the word somewhere and the rest of the colours go and it just sort of reminded me of like our travels and I just really liked it. And then going down this radiator, I think was from Screwfix. I will try to link to as much as I can below. We haven't replaced all the radiators in all of the house, but we have in these three rooms because obviously we needed to add a radiator to the new room. And I just really like this because it's a little bit more modern than the rest of the radiators. That plant is not going to live there. I realised that that plant wasn't coping very well in direct sunlight. It used to be over there 
in our conservatory. So I have just moved it here for the time being. I think eventually maybe I'd like to get a little side table or maybe another planter or something there, but it's not a massive priority. And then the floor, I have mentioned a couple of times before as well. It's Candine, and I think it's the shade Country Oak, but I'll link to it below. And we had Candine in our old house, and we just found it really good for with the children. It's quite durable and easy to clean. And so we have had that put through all three of these rooms and also our hallway. And then moving along to this corner of the room, I've only just kind of finished this actually and again I just wanted to brighten up the other eyes really white space so the planter I got from Next, Next actually do really lovely planters and this one came in a pack of two and the other one is in our hallway but I just thought that that looked really nice there and then the plant is from the garden center. I'm still planning on maybe doing a video on house plants but let me know if you would like to watch something like that. And then I got this wall hanging. I've mentioned it a couple of times on here and also on Instagram. I found this lady on Instagram by following another lady who bought one of these. And I just really love it. It's this gorgeous wall hanging. She does them in all different colors. And I love the gold detailing. And I just thought that was a really good kind of thing for that space. And that is from a lady on Instagram called The Copper Otter. And then this print is from Oliver Bonas. And again, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a very sort of dark navy blue and gold. And I just loved that kind of message, keep it simple. And then what I will do is I'll quickly open these doors just so you can see what they look like when they're open. And that's exactly why I didn't want anything too bulky there because that opens up like that. And then let's open this one as well. And there you go, that's it when the doors are open. Like I say, I do actually really like the doors when they're open rather than shut, but we do kind of tend to keep them shut in the evenings. But I'll just shut them again just for the purposes, or pull them too, for the purposes of this video. Let me just pull this one too as well. So then moving on to this section of the room, I love this. I just love the kind of pops of color in things. And the people who lived in the house before us had a very weird sort of like desk bureau in this section. And we decided to add shelves. So we got a carpenter to make us these floating white shelves. They're made from like a distressed wood if you get up close enough. And I really like the effect that they have given there. And then this unit, I get a lot of people asking me about. It looks like it was kind of made for this space, but it's actually from made.com and it's very, very dark gray. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And I love the brass legs as well. I've got quite a lot of brass touches throughout these three rooms and I just really, really like them. And so yeah, that's from made.com and it's like a kind of plastic maybe or metal, I'm not really sure, but I really like it. And then I'll just quickly show you all these different trinkets on here. So I had to get this when I saw it. This is from Anthropology, And if you've been following my videos for a while, you will know that my biggest passion is travel. Like I used to work in the travel industry. And as soon as I saw this, I had to get it. And then the two frames are from Oliver Bonas. And I've just put pictures in of, weirdly there, of all three of them are of us in Dubai, just because the colors kind of match the room. So that's why I went for those. And then I've just got a selection of books here. These two were from John for Christmas and this one was from my sister for Christmas. And if you like houseplants, that's a really good book to buy. And then the candle was from my mum for Christmas. That was from Laura Ashley. And then we've got another Oliver Bonas photo frame as well. I really love the detailing on this one. And then this candle was just from Tesco's. It was just their Christmas range. I think it was like 99p or something. And then this little kind of light glass vase is from Matalan. They do really affordable, lovely homeware things. So I'm really pleased with that. I think it was like 12 pounds or something. And then going up on the shelves, we've just got a variety of different things. This candle is from HomeSense. This vase is from La Redoute. It is meant to be a vase, but I actually really just quite like it as an ornament, so I've just kind of left it. Then this armadillo snow globe, I mentioned in a homeware haul ages ago. It is really random, but I love it. And that is from West Elm. 
And then this fake plant is also from West Elm as well. Then these little pom-pom fairy lights were actually just supposed to be for Christmas, but I really liked them, so I decided to keep them up all year round, and they are from Habitat. And then moving up onto the last shelf, this little acorn pot is from H&M. These concrete houses are from Not On The High Street. They were in our last room, in our last house. And then the Hello sign, quite a few of these things are from our last house as well, actually. The Hello sign is from West Elm. The fake flowers are from the Fox and Ivy range at Tesco. And then this glass dome is from H&M. The candle, I think, is from Cox and Cox. And I can't for the life of me remember where that's from, that little cactus ornament. But yeah, I really just love this section of the room. And we've got a light that we can put on if we want to, to go over there. And I just really like this. And then moving on to this corner of the room. This plant is from Ikea. And then the basket is from This Modern Life. And I just love the basket because I thought it went really nicely with the colours. It's just got a pink bottom of it. And I just really, really like that. And then moving up this print is from a lady on Instagram and I just adore it. I can't remember what the lady's name is so I'll make sure I link to it below. I think it's something like Jess Ford Art maybe, something like that, but I just absolutely love that. She does actually proper, proper expensive, beautiful pieces of art which I could never afford in a million years but she also does print versions and I just really liked that. And then moving along We'll talk about the table next. So we had a really nice gloss white table in our last house and I just couldn't decide whether to replace it or whatever, but I decided to replace it. We decided to replace it because this is our forever home and we just really wanted a nice, big, massive family dining table. So the chairs are from our old house. We've kept those. They, I get so many people ask us where these are from. They are from Colt Furniture, really cheap and they're just really good and they're white clean, which is really good with kids and then our tablecloth is from Dunelm it's one of those ones where you go in and they cut the fabric to size for you and I really love these we had another one which was also from Dunelm the only problem is you can see like the kids stain it quite quickly and the other one got really stained so I've just recently replaced it with this one and then you can see underneath what the table looks like it's just this really lovely, like, kind of distressed wood. The table is from John Lewis, and I love the legs on it. It's got kind of iron, big metal legs, and I love this, but I would never kind of have this out <laughs> with the children because it would just get wrecked within a second. So that is why the tablecloth is on there for now, which I've now messed up, <laughs> but there we go. And then the vase on the table, I always try and have flowers in there if I can. The vase is from Tesco and this little marble-esque platter thing is from Audi and was £10 and just an utter bargain. They'll probably have sold out now but I just can't even get over what a bargain it was so I love that. And then I've got my roses on there. I always try and have candles burning even during the day. And I just really love the kind of smell the candles bring. And then moving over to this corner of the room, I've got a slightly kind of unruly plant. But I love this little section of the room. Again, I just wanted something to brighten up a really white space. And this table is from Georgia Asda. And I think it was something like £49. And it's like a kind of marble effect table and it's really good quality and I just can't believe it was £49. There's one over there which is also the same from Georgia Asda and that was even cheaper. That was like, I don't know, I want to say, I want to say £12 but I think that might be, it's no more than 20 anyway but yeah I love those. And so I got this little table and then I've just filled it with like little bits and pieces. So the plant is a bit unruly and that is from the garden centre. And then this little plant pot I loved because it was all the colours. I've just knocked stuff off. Um, it was all the colours and that was from Home Sense. Then this little love was 99p from Georgia Asda. I've had this pot years. I think it was from H&M. And then the candle is from Home Sense as well. And I just really like the um, table and the effect that it gives. It just sort of brightens up that space. 
And then moving up, finally, we have got this print, or not print, this letterboard, which is from Letterfolk, and I just love this. I had every intention to keep changing the message, but to be honest, I've just kept this message for ages just because I thought it was funny and it summed me and John up. But I really like this and I love how you can change the message and change it to whatever you want to change it to. And then finally, the only other real thing to show you in this room is that we kept the three chairs from our existing house but then we have changed this bench. So this bench goes with the table. You do buy them separately, but it's from John Lewis. And I've put like a sheepskin sort of throw to make it comfier for the children. And that, it, oh, and Ren's high chair I've had since Maddie was young. It's lasted us through all three kids and it's a stocky chip trap. And yeah, there we go. That is our dining room. And oh, and actually one last thing. We've got this big pendant lamp, which is from made.com, and we have got the same one in our living room as well. So yeah, that is our dining room, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. So I hope that you enjoyed our dining room tour. I hope you liked the way I did it, rather than kind of doing a voiceover, I did it more sort of just walking around with the camera. So I hope that was a little bit more relaxed and maybe easier to kind of get an idea of what the room looked like but I really hope you enjoyed it please do leave me a comment below if you liked this video or what your favorite thing in the room was and if you have any questions if I haven't linked to anything that you would like to know where it's from I'm really happy to answer any questions and thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye